FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. A woman has reportedly received an emergency protective order against Raj on Rondo after she says he pulled a gun on her in front of her children. Multiple outlets, including the Louisville Courier Journal, reported that the woman filed the order last Friday, writing, I am extremely fearful for my safety and for the safety of my children. Raj Wan has a history of volatile, erratic, explosive behavior, she reportedly added of the Cleveland Cavaliers player, 36. According to ESPN, she filed the order in Louisville, Kentucky, two days after she asked a boy who was playing video games with Rondo, their son, reported TMZ, to separate laundry, at which point Rondo allegedly became enraged and ripped the video game console from the wall, according to the documents cited by the Courier Journal. In the EPO, the woman wrote that Rondo told her you're dead reported the Associated Press, before the basketball player allegedly left the house briefly and came back with a gun. According to the EPO filing, per the AP, he yelled at both children, his son and daughter, TMZ reported, outside of the home while holding the gun, asking why they were scared of him. ESPN reported that the EPO said former interim Louisville Metro Police Chief Yvette Gentry arrived at the home, at which point the woman locked herself inside with the children. According to the EPO, per ESPN, Gentry obtained Rondo's scun at some point and he left. Multiple outlets reported that a judge granted the woman the EPO the same day she filed ordering the NBA star not to communicate with her and to stay at least 500 feet away. The Cavaliers and the NBA, as well as a rep for Rondo, have not responded to people's requests for comment. In a statement to ESPN, Mike Bass, a spokesperson for the NBA, said that that organization is aware of the report and are in the process of gathering more information. Rondo was traded to the Cavaliers in January and has played for several teams over the course of his career including the Boston Celtics and Los Angeles Lakers. TMZ was the first to report the incident.